Maybe you have seen the session before as a live video on Facebook. Now I just want to show you the detail of the procedure. So the movements as they are. So it's a, this very careful approach to the target from below. Here in the timeline, we can see uh, the time until shot. So in the moment, we are 1.7 before firing the shot. And I just want to show you how the movements happen inside the 0.5 ring, which is, see, we're getting closer, closer, closer. This is a shot. So here we are one hundredths before the shot. What you see here behind the red point is the trigger action, which means the last 0.3 seconds of the shot. And you see the triggering is uh, inside the 10 ring. It's maybe 0 0.3 or 0 0.25 millimeters is the size of triggering. If we make a small step now, oops, too much. I just want to show you. So this is the moment of shot. Uh, the first thing we get is the sh shot count. And now the red line coming is the jump of the rifle. You can see it jumps exactly uh, up to the uh, 10 ring. And there it turns. I hope you can see. So the highest point is here, exactly the 10 ring. And now it comes down and which is very important, it lands exactly where it started. We just take another shot to compare. So here the triggering, my triggering is not so nice. It's a little bit outside and it's a little bit bigger. It looks like an 0.35. And we see the shot, the jump goes a little bit higher this time. It's out of the 10, you can see. We can you see this time the point of turn is a little bit outside the 10 ring. We can go from one shot to the other. So you see here it is uh, up to the eight. Next shot, next shot, next shot. This is much lower. The one before was up to the was up to here and the next one is only there. Next one, next one, next one, next one. So there is changes from shot to shot. The reaction can be more or less.